Good evening, everyone. The UNCW Seahawks men's basketball team has looked like a different group over the past month of the season, and they're going to need to keep playing hot if they wanted to get a road win tonight against Hofstra. The pride would provide a tough challenge for UNCW tonight, and this was a close game for much of the first half. The game was tied at 25 with 7.46 left in the first when Hofstra went on a run. In just over three minutes, the Pride went on a 13-2 run to make this tied game a double-digit deficit for UNCW. We knew it was going to be a battle between two of the best rebounders in the country with raucous gusties for Hofstra and UNCW's Devontae Kaycock. But this battle went the way of the Pride as did much of the night. Gusty's finished this game with 17 points and 16 rebounds, whereas Kaycock once again found himself in foul trouble and could not get his normal game going as he only had 9 points and 8 boards, failing to register double digits and rebounds for only the sixth time this season. Tally led the Seahawks with 21 points. Forns, Taylor, and Estime all got into double digit scoring, but it's Hofstra that pulls off the 20 point win, 96-76. UNCW falls to 4-7 and seven in conference and 7-16 and 16 overall. Today, the Colonial Athletic Association announced their conference favorites and their preseason all-CAA baseball team, and things turned up teal. For the third year in a row, the UNCW Seahawks have been picked by the CAA coaches to win the conference. The Seahawks received six first-place votes over defending conference champion Delaware, who beat UNCW in the conference title series last year. College of Charleston, Northeastern, and Elon complete the top five. The Seahawks will look a little different in, than in years past, with 17 new faces filling the holes of guys like Nick Fight and last season CAA Player of the Year Casey Golden. But one face that will be back this year is Coach Mark Scaff. And coming into his 27th season with the Diamond Hawks, Coach Scaff calls it an honor to be picked first in the preseason and looks forward to getting better with each passing game. And now there may not be a many of them, but a big reason the Seahawks are picked to finish first again is thanks to those returning stars to the team. They are highlighted by reigning CAA Pitcher of the Year Alex Royalty and catcher Ryan Jeffers, who were named to the All-CAA preseason first team. Royalty led the conference in wins, innings pitched, and strikeouts to go along with his 9-2 record as a sophomore. While Jeffers led the Seahawks with batting average and had 10 home runs and 32 runs batted in in his sophomore season last year as well. Clark Cota was named an honorable mention for the conference, and UNCW opens this season against Eastern Kentucky on February 16th. As we start talking about all this baseball, that means basketball season is start to wind down, but it's not over yet, and the full court press returns tomorrow once again. We have seen plenty of history this season from teams in our area, and we might just see some more history on Friday night. The new Hanover guys team continues their quest for an undefeated conference season when they meet up with West Brunswick for the Trojans senior night. The Hoggard guys claim the 4A conference title and their girls want the conference crown as well, but they'll have to get past South Brunswick on the road. And over in Columbus County, the East Bladen girls are flying away with the conference race, but they'll have to try to keep it going against the Lady Gators. We'll have those games and more, and you can see it all only on WWAY's Full Court Press. Now a guy we'll also see tomorrow is Jake Brownlee of West Columbus High School. And Today he made the surprising move to decommit from Lees McRae College after previously announcing that decision. He says after thought and consideration, he will open his recruitment back up. The senior is averaging nearly 25 points a game with 11.3 rebounds. Friday is always my favorite night of the week, so Nathan Falk and I will see you tomorrow night.